And thank you to Gaynor for that story. And some big streets in Chicago are off limits to cars tonight. It's part of the city's plan to make room for outdoor dining during the pandemic. WGN's Rob Sneed is live in River North to see what diners think about it. I bet they love it. Yeah, that certainly means larger crowds, more people coming out. You can see over here just the amount of people out here because of the change. The umbrellas are up, the drinks are flowing. All of this, they say, to have a good time tonight despite this crisis. The barriers are up, the roads are closed, and folks are out spending money dining. I think it's great to, to get a sense of normalcy again, um, to be able to, to go out and experience things and, and get back to our normal lives. Especially for the businesses, um, it's good to, to have that revenue coming in again. I think overall it has more benefits than not, especially for the businesses. And for these two who came from Minneapolis to see their grandparents, they don't want to spend their time stuck in the house. This is a rare opportunity to be outside and to eat. Uh, yeah, it's fabulous. Mayor Lightfoot blocked off Wells and Clark Streets and River North. In each area, social distancing rules are still in effect as restaurant staff breathe a sigh of relief that more people are able to dine. We were able to go ahead and set up our extended patio. Um, over the last couple weeks, Friedman Properties has been working with all of the restaurants on this stretch of the street to get this going for us. Um, 10 a.m., the barriers went out and then we jumped into action. But for many out here, they aren't putting their guard down, keeping themselves safe is more important than a night on the town. We have to be very careful. We still have issues. It's not open door policy to do whatever we want. But if we can do it, and this is a great way to do it, I think, safely, I think we should try to find additional ways for other restaurants or businesses to also be able to do all of this. And even though the streets are closed and the fire hydrants and lanes, however, are not. Now, the city kept them open just in case of an emergency. Reporting live in River North, Rob Sneed, WGN News. All right, Rob, thanks. Other news here.